Hi, this is Chrissy from the Uncommon Ground, and I want to welcome you to Sharp Spring Training. Today, we're going to go over social media, uh, adding your accounts, and also managing your accounts through the content calendar. So let's get started. To set up your your existing accounts, make sure that you have Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, that your pages are ready to go, and that you're logged into them on your computer as well. So let's go into settings. And we'll go to here, features to social media. Hit social media. And we're going to add connection. Let's do Twitter first. Authorize app. Just follow the directions here. And you can see because I'm logged into Twitter on this computer, it logs right into that, that Twitter profile. Facebook. I'm going to continue as myself and I am going to just add Coffee Matico. And I've now linked Sharp Spring to Facebook. I want to add this page. And now we're going to add LinkedIn. And check Coffee Matico and done. There we go, it's that easy. Um, like I said, just to prepare, just to make it easy, make sure that you're logged into your accounts before you begin the, the procedure. Makes it flow really easily and quickly. So then we're gonna go to content and content calendar. You can also find it up here, social and content calendar. And we're gonna make our first post. So we're gonna create a social post and we're going to use, we're going to create a post on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. The beauty of SharpSpring is that you can make three posts at the same time. In the last uh, module, we added some media to the Media Center. And we called it Coffee Infograph. So we're going to add this Coffee um, Infograph media, the trackable link into the social post. So you'll see the infograph here. You'll see that this link is quite large. So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten it and we're going to go to tinychirp.com and we're going to enter the URL to shorten. And here's our new shortened link. Copy that bring it back into our events calendar and there is now a much shorter more manageable link so we're going to make a post now we'll go to the beginning and we're going to say make our social post. We'll put in um, a hashtag. And now you'll see that uh, we go to the LinkedIn tab. This is what it'll look like. And we go to the Twitter tab. This is what it'll look like. So let's add an extra hashtag on the Twitter post. And you'll see if you make any changes to the other tabs, it keeps the other ones the same. So if I had wanted to just add an image right from my desktop, I can do that here. But because in the last one we had brought this in and, and gave it a trackable link, we're going to use that one. And then we'll go ahead and schedule a post. And now you can see each one. You can just check it over, make sure that it's all good to go. If you wanted to post it later, you could actually just go here and schedule it for another date and it would assign it to the date, that date in the calendar. But we're going to post it now so we can see how it works. Post and it was successfully scheduled. You can see it shows up and it's grayed out. 
So that means that it uh, has already been posted. So now what we're going to do, we're going to set up our listening tabs. So here we go to listening. And this is going to be a view of uh, things happening in your social media. So you don't always have to go log into each platform. So we're going to add a new feed, Twitter. Next. Coffeematico, and I want to see our profile page here on this tab. Coffeematico and finish. And then I want to add our Facebook page. Next. Coffeematico and the page and finish. I want to see our LinkedIn page here. There you go. Very, very simple. And here, just at a glance, you can see that our post made it onto each of the platforms and we can see them here. You can also see previous posts. You can scroll down your page. So now on this second tab, I can rename it. So I'm going to call it watching interactions. And what that means is we're going to go here and I want to know on the coffee medical site where we've been mentioned. So we're going to see anywhere that we've been mentioned here. I also want to see any time that we've been retweeted. I want to see it here. Uh, Any time that we've been liked, oh, select profile, coffee medical likes finish here and if I'd like to see also my timeline you can see it there so there are a lot of different things you can also search hashtags so if we go here next and what do we want to search let's just search love coffee so now you can see everywhere where that hashtag has been used and that notifies you. It shows you as well if your own hashtag, like if it was hashtag coffee we would see right here anybody that used that hashtag. And then we could go and make sure that we are engaged in interacting with that audience. So here we're watching the pages themselves. Here we're watching interactions. You can also scroll over. You can add Facebook. Coffee Matico, and every time that we're tagged, we can put it there. So we're not, we haven't been tagged yet, so it's not showing up, but that's where it would show. So there's a, it's really nice to have your social media at your fingertips all the time, and you can watch, you can post, and you're not logging in and out, and you're not having to copy and paste your posts, you're not having to waste time setting up your your campaigns. And you can schedule your posts, you know, as far out as you want to. So that you can even test your post here by clicking on it. And, uh, and now we've clicked on here. Um, you can see it brings us to the infograph. And now if we go into, like we discussed last time, into the media, it should show up. There we go. I viewed it three times so you can see the views there. And here you can see that today, this is my test account here. I'm, I saved myself as a contact. And you can see that I, it shows that I viewed this twice, 23 minutes ago. And that there are totally, there's one anonymous view. So that's a total of three views today. So that's it for this module. Uh, pretty simple, but very powerful tool in SharpSpring. Again, if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us by phone, email, text, um, through any of our Uncommon Ground social media accounts, whatever way you're most comfortable. Let us know how we can help you. Have a great day.